I'm the king. I mean, doesn't matter who is it, uh, and for whoever is out there, I'm the king. I'm the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed heavyweight champion. The real bird is at home. No, the uh, Walmart, the one that they buy, bought at Walmart or whatever. The real one is at home. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Marina Del Rey. We're gonna go watch fight in the in the yard right here. So just just gonna figure out the way to get there. The boat is right there. So we're gonna go watch the the contender fight. Yeah, this fight is for the number one contender. here in uh, Marina de Rey. Um, we're gonna watch fight yeah. on this big ass boat. Come on in. It's okay. Mm -hmm. With a uh, couple of fan, fans that we invited them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have fun. Watch the um, contender fight tonight. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Captain Bob and I'm the captain, the master on board. This is that we are going to go out and watch the fight night tonight uh, for the, the what, do you, what do you call it, the number one contender? As Francis would call it, the number one contender fight. <laughs> to have Francis, the heavyweight champion on board, is truly an honor for us. Uh, we feel privileged and, uh, and we know he's accomplished a lot. And it was hard work getting there and we really appreciate him having, having him on board. Uh, so, so you went in the Mediterranean? Oh, yeah, I did, uh, did uh, three years there on another boat. I went to the Mediterranean, Mediterranean too, oh, as, yeah? a, as a captain. Oh yeah? Yeah, Come but on, man. my own was like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we oh, I was a captain. Yeah. Cheers. My name is Akong Chatade. Um, I signed up for the, uh, you know, Francis's giveaway. Uh, ended up winning, and that's why I showed up. <laughs> I've been a fan of Francis for about two years. Um, more closely in the in the last year, I've been following him. Hanging out with Francis is like probably one of the coolest experiences of my life. Uh, you know, when he's in the ring, he seems like a, like a really tough guy. You know, like bah, 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 bah. but like out here, he's like a he's like a gentle giant. He's a really nice, dope guy. Francis is like a hometown hero. I'm from Cameroon. So Francis Suarez is like a hometown hero. He's like the first biggest thing like in the UFC. We've never had like anybody representing Cameroon in the UFC before. So 
to have him like represent us at the biggest, like the heavyweight, and be like the UFC champion right now, like that's like the best thing ever. For us, we've never had like we've had like soccer players that have gone crazy, but for Francis, he just came out of nowhere. We had a fighter that represented Cameroon, and he was doing and he's doing good too, and he's knocking out people. So people, we actually look at him like like a hero. Time for the main event. Who is that guy? The governor of Texas. No, the guy next to him. There was a guy next to him look like uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. That's probably his bodyguard. <laughs> Everybody has his belt. It's not a problem, but as soon as I have mine, it's, it becomes a pro it became a problem. Why? I feel good. At the end of, doesn't matter what they're saying or what's happening. I'm the champ, and uh, what or what they are doing is a contest to come fight the champ. You know, so I'm the boss, they are the contenders, they are fighting for the, uh, let me think, number two con uh, place, uh, rank contender because TP is still the number one rank contender. So they are fighting for the number second rank contender and I'm the champ. So, but it's going to be a good fight though. So just going to enjoy. The only thing that uh, for me doesn't make sense and I don't pay attention, I think that's a kind of like a BS is the interim blah 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 around it you know but it's gonna be a good fight that um, i'm very excited about it um i think if it goes to decision i will rather i will give it to uh Syringa because stylistically he's gonna fight for a decision and then uh, they're gonna fight obviously for knockout because he won't be able to uh, follow up with uh Syringa. um as far as a cage control, you know, move back and forth. Uh, I'm surprised he got the finish. Uh, uh, exactly. The finish. No, he got tired, uh, bro. No. He was the leg kick. The leg, yeah, the leg kick. Yeah, he was the leg kick. He was the leg kick. He tried to throw punches. He went down. After that, that was it. No, like when Derek is hurt, that's how he reacts. No, like the little touch his eyes. He's a trick. He's a trick. I saw him. I saw it after like um like he started like De Lewis started get hurt by those leg kick. I know that he's gonna quit. That's the thing with him. Like he gets to some point that he can't take it anymore. He just quit. <laughs> and he was just like holding his eye and doing <laughs> it was funny i'm the king i mean doesn't matter who is it uh and for whoever is out there i'm the king i'm the ufc heavyweight champion the undisputed heavyweight champion the real bird is at home no the uh walmart the one that they buy, bought at walmart or whatever the real one is at home and uh yeah any response for Ciro? Well, uh, he's a contender. I don't have no response for him. I'm a charm, so I'm here to fight the contenders. It's going to be a fun fight, though. It's going to be a fun fight. I kind of, I know I know that game, you know. I know that game. And uh, we, we both know each other. Regardless, the clips of video that uh, they're trying to put out there, keeping the real one, but uh, they know, you know, when you know, you know. <laughs> so like, I'm sure like he's really happy and uh, he deserved the moment, but he's know what is coming after him or what, yeah, he knows for, for sure.